Hi, my name is Mariam Derogar. I'm a medical doctor at the Karolinska University Hospital and PhD student at Karolinska Institute in Stockholm, Sweden. I've been asked by the editors of Clinical Gastroenterology and Hepatology to present a recently published study entitled Aspirin Therapy Discontinuation After Peptic Ulcer Bleeding Increases Risk of Death and Acute Cardiovascular Events. As we know, aspirin is widely used in the prevention of acute cardiovascular events. However, it also carries a risk of gastrointestinal bleeding. So in the setting of peptic ulcer bleeding, it's a great clinical dilemma whether uh, aspirin therapy should be discontinued or continued. Therefore, we decided to perform a retrospective study on all patients with ongoing aspirin therapy who were hospitalized due to peptic ulcer bleeding at the Karolinska University Hospital between 2007 and 2010, and patients were followed up until August 2011. We included patients who were admitted to hospital due to symptoms of upper gastrointestinal bleeding, that is, melina, uh, hematomesis, syncope, presyncope with anemia, or of course the combination of these symptoms. And patients were also diagnosed with peptic ulcer by endoscopic, ver uh, verified by endoscopic examination. We also collected information on patient and disease related factors that could have affected the clinician's decision to continue or discontinue aspirin therapy. And these were, for example, comorbidities and forest classification. We performed survival analyses and divided the follow-up period into before six months, after discharge, and uh, after six months. In total, we identified 118 patients uh, with ongoing aspirin uh, therapy who were hospitalized due to peptic ulcer bleeding. And aspirin therapy was discontinued in 40% of these patients. The median follow-up time was uh, two years, and during this period, 37% of patients developed acute cardiovascular events or um, died. In the multivariable analysis, we found that in patients with uh, cardiovascular diseases, there was a sevenfold increased risk of death or acute cardiovascular events in those who uh, discontinued aspirin therapy at this chart compared to those who con continued aspirin therapy. And importantly, this finding was only evident uh, within six months of this chart and not thereafter. Recurrent bleeding was observed among seven patients uh, at, a median follow at a median time of 20 days. Three of these patients had continued aspirin therapy and four had discontinued aspirin therapy. Due to the small numbers, we couldn't perform any statistical analysis to examine the association between aspirin therapy discontinuation and the risk of recurrent bleeding. In conclusion, this study provides evidence that aspirin therapy should not be discontinued after an episode of peptic ulcer bleeding. What we, don't, what we don't know is the optimal timing to resume aspirin therapy, and this should be clarified in future studies. Thank you.